the right in the gap through which he wanted to run that time. He ran right up on him, and the stop was made right there. The tackle made by Marion Knight. What's good, everybody? It's the answer. We back with another one, man. This time we're going down memory lane, man. Suge Knight, in case you didn't know, used to be a college football star. Did get drafted, but decided to go into the music business. Whack telling some stories about the death row office. Let's get to it. We'll react to it. Let's go. I hear was ratchet. If it was out here, it definitely was ratchet. Boy, that sugar yeah. was sugar was in shape. You didn't want to run up on sugar in that picture. He was in shape. He went down from like 300 to about 285. Sugar moved like Tony Thor said when he that way. <laughs> fast on his feet. Yeah. I'm about to run this race. I remember we tried to take off on that, that body slam all four. So y'all done got y'all done gotten a little bit of scuffles with you? Y'all done got some scuffles. Oh no, you? dog, you gotta understand, like, I don't know if any of the homies is in here, but you know we thunder back there, but we be all back there in the back park a lot at the office, defo office. And we like we at the park. What's up? What's up? You ain't ready? Oh, you oh y'all wanna play? Can't put that cigar down. Yeah, we, <laughs> we didn't, yeah, we didn't try to rush that. I done been body slammed at least seven times, because I'm always the first one. <laughs> That's crazy. Pick me up one time. You chilling with the answer? Pick me up. He, you know, he was a defensive end, so you know he know how to do all them swim moves. You know, anybody play football, you know them DNs. Yeah. They specialize in getting up under you and getting out the way. The biggest and the fastest. So I remember one day I tried to. I called myself. I said, "I'm gonna go low." I said, "Look, I'm gonna go low. I'm gonna act like I'm gonna take off on him." But I'm going to drop it, grab him by around his knees. Y'all get him from up top. We trying to get him on the ground, right? And I tried to do some That did a swim move and hooked up under my fo- up under my arm. You chilling with the answer. Before I knew it, my feet was where my head supposed to be. In. I'm <laughs> twirling. Yeah, I'm twirling. And then in midair, he grabs a hold of me and throws me about 15 feet. I slid, no lie, I never get By the time I looked up, my head is up under the bumper of the BMW that Tupac got gunned down in. By the time I looked over there, he demolished it. Not, hey, listen, you know I tell no lie. Right? I, we see if you catch him. I think he might have been started getting high because he didn't used to get high when he was getting knocked out because that wasn't never him. I don't know what was going on in his life, but don't let him get in that stands and square off. He like Pitbull. He fast. He just bigger than Pitbull and taller. That left me is fast. The only thing he never did with us, my little crew, he never whooped our ass with a cigar still in his mouth. He used to do the other things like that. Oh, no. He would take the cigar out and put it on the back of one of the cars and be like, come on. Nah, but nah, bro, that's like a... Uh, you know, like we come in the back, what's up, what's up? He be like, what's up, what's up? Paul what, what you saying? What's up? What you want to do? What? And then it start like that. We be all, bro, you know what I mean? Todd, we done left going to where we was going. We all scuffed. We've been back there fighting and wrestling and slap boxing. You chilling with the answer. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, hey, wow. Chug on the football field when you was uh, playing sports? What'd you say? Did you ever run into Chug on the football field nah, when y'all, nah, y'all nah, playing sports? Nah. Now nah, him and um, I got all them stories. You know him and um, damn, y'all know who I'm talking about. They used to own the um, the basketball team in Sacramento. They owned the Palms at one time too. I figured they brothers. The, the Maloof, Maloof brothers. The Maloof. Him and the Maloof brothers was real good friends because they went to college at the same time at UNLV, right? Sure got drafted to the Rams or one of them football. A lot of niggas don't know that, right? So him and the Maloofs were real good friends because they was on the same, like they went to college together, same dorm. So they used to tell me uh, all the stories. You know, when we used to go to the Palms, when I tell you, when I used to walk in the Palms, like how I gave Jay Mac a little dose, um, what it felt like, the Maloofs and Shug probably gave me my first dose. I remember after about the third time they were seeing me, they had this one little dude little light skinned dude, I forget his name, his name Josh or something, he was like their little nephew, but he was the one that took care of all their people when they got to the Palms, he said, yeah man, uh, my uncle them told me to make hook you up, whack, man, that gave me the keys to him, 
room, bro. Room had to be about 2,800 square feet, bro. I'm walking around this. I literally sat out and looked around and said, damn, I need to figure out how to get back to this. We was out there about three, four days and, uh, you know, it was like, like that to where it was like, I need to get motivated. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Despite the things that go back and forth with Shug calling Whack the Truck Driver or Whack going at him in terms of how Death Row crumbled, you could definitely see the influence. You could see the fond memories. You can definitely see the things Whack uh, garnered from Death Row experience and not making the same mistakes. And uh, just going down memory lane is fun sometimes as well. It's your boy Dell, the answer, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate y'all tuning in.